Hello Spud Lovers, and welcome back to another Paleo video. We're gonna stay in the same family as we were with the Mining Ore video, where we're gonna look at the gardening crops instead. The goal, just like that video, is gonna be finding out exactly which crop can make the most money in 12 days. And right now, there are 11 different crops that you can do in this game with the latest update as they did just recently add corn and spicy peppers. So in this video, I am breaking it down to 12 days, and I'm choosing 12 for a very specific reason. Apple trees take 12 days to make a single harvest, to make their very first harvestable action. So to make it fair on the apples, I wanted to give them at least one day of being able to harvest, but anything past 12 days is, it's a long time. According to the Paleo Wiki, Every one in-game day passes for every one hour of real-world time. So 12 days, you have to be online for about 12 hours to get everything done in a single sitting. So as you can see, we are starting with our grand total of 9 plots. You can buy these plots from Badru and you can only max out to 9 plots right now. I'm hoping that later updates will allow you to expand past 9 plots, but Unfortunately, right now, it's only 9. You'll also notice that there's no fertilizer on any of these plots as well. I don't want to ruin or alter any of these crops and give them more of a bonus or a buff compared to other crops. I want to see exactly how many non-stars and gold star crops we get each time. And I want to see exactly how much we yield for every time we harvest these crops. So for the yield on all these crops, you will find that these numbers are basically what I found all by myself because I couldn't find any of these numbers online anywhere. Unfortunately, there's just not enough data out there because it's still a brand new game. So with our nine plots of soil, I'm going to plant one crop in each of those soils. So carrots. These take three days to harvest. I was able to yield two crops each time. So that got me 18 carrots each harvest. And we're able to harvest four times because there's three days per harvest at 12 days. So that's 72 carrots grand total. So if you stay online for 12 solid hours and you do nothing but carrots in one plot of soil, you can net about 1656 on if every single crop is a no star or you can get 2448 if every single crop you have is a gold star. Those are really only possible if you're using fertilizers, but it is possible nonetheless. Next is onion. So these take four days to harvest and just like with the carrots, I was able to get two crops each time for the harvest. But because it takes four days to harvest out of the 12 days, we can only do this three times, which gives us 54 onions. And because we can't harvest as long, our profits go down a little bit, but it's actually not that much. It's 1620 and 2430 compared to the carrots. So it's only a difference of about 36 gold on one end and 18 gold on the other. And then next are potatoes. They take five days to harvest and again, I yielded two crops each time I harvested. But because it takes five days to harvest out of our 12 days that we have allotted to us, we can only do them twice. So that only gives us 36 potato. Ironically, you'll see that the no stars get us the exact same amount that onions get us at no star. So there's really no comparison there. But it does give us a little bit less on the gold star. If we were able to harvest it three times, just like the onions, it would by far be much, much higher. However, we're going with 12 days. Next are tomatoes. They take four days to harvest and they yielded, again, two crops each. So just like the onions in harvest time, but they are worth significantly less than onions, and I'll tell you why. Because tomatoes, you can continuously harvest from the same plant more than one time. So you harvest at four days, and then you harvest again every two days for the next three times. So you harvest on day four, then you harvest again on day two, two, and two. So you're able to get a full harvest set out of a single tomato vine. Nine tomatoes each, 18 tomatoes, times the four harvests that you're able to get from it is 72 grand total tomatoes. And you'll see by these numbers that that actually does help boost it past an onion's value at 1656 and 2448. So you'll notice that they are actually worth the exact same amount as a carrot. They are worth the same value, they have the same output, even though their days 
are a little bit different by a full day they're they're a different harvest time but because the tomato stays on its own vine and the days consecutively that it can be harvested from are less it makes up for it so that's why the carrots and tomatoes are worth the exact same amount of gold each next are wheat they take again four days to harvest and again i yielded two crops every single time i harvested so it's going to be about the exact same thing as an onion again where we have 54 grand total wheat for the three times that we can harvest at 18 wheat grand total that we were able to get for each little square but with this we're able to get 1782 and 2646 that's definitely a lot more than an onion next is rice again yielded two crops each it has a three day harvest period and because it's only three days just like the carrots we can get four different harvest times for it so the 18 rice times the four times a week in harvest is 72. luckily though the rice is worth just slightly more than the tomatoes and the carrots so that makes it a little bit higher in grand total selling value at 1944 and 2880. Next are the blueberry bushes. So these are the ones that get a little tricky. The berry bushes have to be planted on a two by two square. The plots are three by three, which means you can only plant a single berry bush on a single plot of soil. Now, if you were to combine the different plots and make like a field of berry bushes, you can absolutely put them closer together so that you can put a lot more on there. And there's more like one and a half berry bushes or more per plot of soil. However, because we're trying to stick with this experiment, we're not doing that. We're only using one soil plot per crop type. So only one berry bush, unfortunately. And it takes nine days to harvest from a bush. And you only get six crops per one of those harvests. So sticking with our 12 days, it's only six berries because otherwise another harvest will be well past our 12 day mark. So what if we gave the berry bushes nine spots each for its maximum lifetime potential? So the bush takes nine days to grow and harvest the first time, and then you can harvest again after three days, three days, and three days. That gets us 216 berries because we'll now have nine bushes times the six crop output, which gets us 54 berries each time we harvest, times the four harvests that we can do grand total of each of their lifetimes is 216 berries. And now that number skyrockets up to 8,424 for normal non-star berries or 12,528 if you have nothing but gold stars and you're able to use fertilizer for all of them. That is quite the profit. But again, that's out of 18 days and it's a matter of you wanting to stay online for an additional 6 hours after you're already on for 12. But for the sake of this video, we're going to revert it back to its normal and original numbers. But we'll do a comparison with the real numbers versus our hypothetical numbers as well, so don't worry. Next are the apples. These are the ones that everyone wants to get and you will see why in a moment. So I was able to get 16 apples every single time I harvested from an apple tree. It takes 12 full days to harvest. So that means we're only able to get one harvest from this one apple tree for this particular experiment. So that means we only got 16 apples. But for only having 16 apples, it's still not that bad of a, a value at 1024 and 1536. However, just like with the berries, how much would we be able to get if there were nine apple trees and we harvested each tree to their maximum lifetime potential? So you're able to harvest an apple tree after 12 days and then three times every six days after that. So 12, six, six, and six. So that means that it takes 30 days, a whole month basically in game or 30 hours worth. But if we were able to get 16 crops for every single time we harvested the tree once at 9 apple trees each and we're able to harvest from these trees 4 times, which gives us a grand total of 576 apples. Now we times them by their values. For non-stars, it's 36,864 gold versus 55,296 gold starred ones. Now you can see why people want the apple trees. They are worth 
a lot. But that's only if you do nine trees. And because the trees are a three by three grid, there is no scooting them over and kind of condensing them on like a berry bush. It's going to be a maximum of nine trees that you will ever be able to do right now. But again, for this experiment alone, we're going to go back to the original numbers. Next is the cotton. Again, I yielded two crops, just like all the ones really before it. But they take five days to harvest, so these are going to be very similar to the potato. You also notice that the value is the same as the potato. So we can basically take the exact same numbers as the potato. It's going to give you the 1620 and the 2412. The potato and the cotton are basically the exact same thing. Cotton you can turn into fabric and potatoes you can turn into a stew. Next is the corn. So I was able to yield again two crops each time and it takes five days to harvest. It is worth a little bit less than cotton though. So we can tell right off the bat that's not going to be as valuable as cotton, but we'll see what the numbers are anyways. We'll have 18 corn times the two times that we can harvest is our 36 corn. 1440 and 2160 is our grand total value. So yeah, it is definitely less by quite a bit, by a couple hundred gold compared to cotton and potato. And lastly are the spicy peppers. Very, very similar to a berry bush. These are also grown on a two by two grid. And I was able to yield six crops for each harvest and they take six days to harvest. So they were almost very similar to the berry bush, but they take three days less to harvest. We can harvest the spicy pepper three times because it takes six days to do the first time and then three days and then three days, which gets us our maximum 12 days. So if we did our 12 peppers times three harvest is 36 peppers, which only gets us a value of 384 and 576. But, of course, we cannot do this without doing what we've done with the rest, which is giving it a look at its full potential. So if we gave nine pepper bushes to them and we gave them their full harvest time, which is six days and then three days consecutively for three times. So it's six, three, three, and three. So the six crops times the nine bushes is 54 peppers times the four harvests is 216 peppers. And if we times it by our values, we get 69,012 gold and 10,368 gold star. Those are pretty good numbers. Like if you're just going for peppers alone, you can definitely get much higher than this because if you scoot again, just like the berry bushes, them closer together, you can get much more than nine bushes for the whole plot of land. But again, going back to our normal amount of crops for this particular experiment, we really do have to give the first place trophy to rice, which is not the one I thought it was going to be if I'm being completely honest with you. Because we are able to yield two crops every single time and it only takes three days to harvest and they are worth more than carrots, which are also only three days to harvest, we're able to get a lot more from it. If we're able to put fertilizer down every time, that's 2,880 gold. And just hypothetically, if you put nothing but rice down for all nine of these field plots, you're able to get 648 grand total pieces of rice. Now if we times that by the value that we have for the gold stars, that's 25,920 gold. And that's for a maximum of 12 days. But hypothetically, if we allowed even the peppers, berries, and apples to have their full potential in time in the sun, and you're willing to stay online for multiple more hours just to keep up with these crops, then the numbers are going to look much different. While rice still beats the yielding of peppers and berries given a nine plot number, it will not beat apples. But apples, you have to stay online for far, far longer. So if you did want to maximize out the berries and the peppers, I've been able to figure out that you're able to get 16 grand total bushes in these nine plots of soil if you kind of squish them up together. So with berries alone, if we took our 16 bushes that we can maximize our plots out to, and we have six crops each, and we have four harvest times that we can do to maximize the lifetime of the berry bush, that would actually get us 384 berries for a grand total. Which for no star berries, that gets us a value of 14,976. And for gold star berries, that gets us 22,272. 
And if we look at peppers, it's going to be the exact same type of numbers except for their values because the grid for a pepper is a 2x2 two two just like the berry bushes. So we're going to be able to get 384 peppers for their full lifetime. For no star peppers, that's going to get us 12,288. And for gold star, that's going to get us 18,432. But if you want to maximize all these crops to their full potential for the full yield of each of them without really any regard to a deadline or time limit, then apples are technically the way to go if you're willing to wait the 30 days it takes to harvest all of them to their full potential. Now, I, I do want to look at something real fast. Rice. That was our technical winner for this experiment. I want to put rice on the same playing field as berries, apples, and peppers. However, it only takes three days to harvest. If you gave it the same 30 day harvest time as the apple tree, that gives us 10 harvests grand total. For the whole thing of rice, for the entire plot of land that we have available to it is 1,620. That's not the value. That's the yield of how many pieces of individual rice we can get for the same time period and same parameters as the grand total apple tree. Times the 27 for no stars is 43,740 gold. If we gave it only gold stars and are able to fertilize it every time, 64,800 gold. I'm, I'm still going with my theory that rice is by far the highest winner because it doesn't seem to matter if it's giving it a certain date parameter giving it the 12 days experiment and it doesn't matter if you give it the same amount of time as a full length apple tree and a whole orchard of apple trees it beats it by about nine grand it excels over an apple orchard so i'm saying do not sleep on rice. Rice is absolutely, in my opinion, the way to go from this experiment. So the next time we look at crops and garden, I want to see exactly what we can get when we put these into preserve jars. You're able to get the preserve jars from Badger's Guild store, so if you are not that high in gardening, I would get to it because these preserve jars really do increase the value of your individual crops, but it does take a lot longer because you're turning them into jelly jams pickles stuff like that let me know what you guys think in the comments below i would love to hear if you guys have a different opinion on what you think is the best yield crop what has the best use case scenario what is the most useful all that stuff what you're willing to do as far as the time experiments go and anything else so i thank you very much for watching this video i hope you learned something today i i definitely did that's for sure Please look forward to the next paleo video. I'm going to try to get another tips and tricks video. I've got many of them planned up. I just haven't posted them or made them yet. So I do apologize for that. But I hope you have a wonderful day and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.